Of the four seasons, autumn is my favorite because the air starts getting crisp. You get out your sweater and get nice and warm and snuggly. Mother Nature puts on this incredible display with the changing leaves, and she starts to slow things down in preparation for winter. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna slow things down by braising today's dish to perfection. Let's get started. In this bowl, I have two pounds of pork butt, also known as pork shoulder, same thing, that I've cut into one and a half to two inch cubes. And what I want to do is season it evenly with a little salt and pepper. And once it is seasoned evenly with salt and pepper, you'll want to do three things. First, wash your hands. That's a good first. Second thing I want to do is preheat the oven to 300 degrees because we're going to start on the stove top and finish the braise off in the oven. And number three, get your heavy 5.5 quart Dutch oven, put it over medium high heat, and also do not forget to turn on your oven hood because it might get a little smoky in here. The oven is preheating at 300 degrees. The heavy Dutch oven is over medium high heat. Once it's really hot, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and swirl it around. At that point, it might even start smoking and that is actually a good thing because you want it to be nice and hot when you add the individual pieces of the seasoned cube pork. Let them sear for about a minute until it's nicely caramelized and then give them a twist. You want to sear all the sides a minute at a time until all the sides are beautifully caramelized. I'm going to pull them out, put them back into the original bowl, and at that point we're going to move on to the vegetables. Pork. It's out of the pan, into this bowl. When I'm looking inside, I do have probably maybe a tablespoon. I'm going to add it to where it's at least two tablespoons of oil or fat. You need a little bit of fat for these vegetables. I have mirepoix, which is onions, carrots, and celery, plus some fennel and about a pound of baby mushrooms. And they all go in now. Give it a quick stir and then cover it with the lid because you want that steam to pull the fond off the bottom of the pan. Steam is a good thing because, oh uh, yeah, the vegetables start to break down and that steam helps them soften and also pulls that fawn, all that delicious flavor off the bottom of the pot. Now is the time I'm going to be adding a lot of flavor. We have some tomato paste, I also have fennel, a little bit of red chili flakes, those hot flakes, and a fair amount of garlic and that goes in now. Once that goes in, I'll stir it all together and let that cook for about three to four minutes until it starts to thicken everything up. It looks so good. What happens is the paste and whatever moisture from those vegetables actually makes sort of like a glaze over everything. You hear its crackling sound. So there's no more moisture in the bottom. Now's the time to add the good stuff, really good moisture, either a Zinfandel or a Cabernet, one cup, and I'll stir it around and let it cook for five more minutes until the bubbles get nice and thick. Oh yeah, this looks wonderful. It's nice and thick, the bubbles are large. Everything else goes in now. Well, what is everything else? Well, we have chicken stock, two cups, plus a cup of water. We have a large can of tomatoes, crushed. We also have a little bit of sugar, not too much, just enough to balance the whole thing out. A couple liquids, umami-filled liquids. We have soy sauce, we also have Worcestershire sauce. And we also want to add a couple herbs. We have bay leaves, oregano, some rosemary, and fresh thyme. And then, of course, the pork that we seared off, plus any juices from the bowl. Give that a stir. Bring it all to just a low simmer, the whole thing, not just the sides. At that point, we're gonna top it with the lid, but not snugly, we're gonna have it off just about an inch to where it can evaporate as it's cooking in the oven. And that'll keep it from boiling and just keeps it at a beautiful low simmer. It cooked for 90 minutes, stirring halfway through, and then what I did is I removed it from the oven, put the lid on fully, and then let it sit for 10 minutes, and that's something that makes it a better texture of the actual pork. Speaking of the pork, what I did is I removed it with tongs, took two forks facing the opposite direction and shred them into smaller pieces and then stirred it lovingly back into this vat of stew love deliciousness. So now it's the service time. It's really wonderful to have it because it's so large presented in the vessel that it came in and then put it like family style, right? We're all family here, I think. So what I've done over here is I've actually made polenta. If you have some sourdough bread, that's great for dipping. Of course, pasta would work really well too. But I just did a little polenta, maybe chicken stock, a little butter. All right, fine, a lot of butter. You put that on 
into a shallow bowl. And already, it's just so stunning. It's sort of like the fall leaves, isn't it? And of course, you spent 90 minutes just pacing back and forth because of the incredible smell in your kitchen, waiting for that moment. That is the moment that makes you want to get snuggly. And thank goodness the days are even shorter, a little bit crisper, a little bit cooler. And of course, nobody would ever blink an eye twice if you threw a little Parmigiano Reggiano over top, right? So here we go, the moment of truth. Um, it's like the meat is cooked so beautifully. It's not anywhere near dry, it's actually very sumptuous, sort of silky, and it swishes apart with your tongue beautifully. It's got so much umami, it just makes you salivate. And the reason for that, of course, is the pork. You also have chicken stock, you have tomatoes, tomato paste, we have the Worcestershire, we also have soy sauce, so, oh my gosh, and those mushrooms. Layer upon layer of savory. Your mommy's lovely. The vegetables are cooked really wonderful. They're not mushy, because it was only 90 minutes. So they still have a little body, a little bit of integrity. And then, I mean, it's sort of a thought that you're chasing, but it's actually rosemary. It's those fresh herbs, a little lemony from that time. And the wonderful thing is, because it makes a fair amount, at the temperatures drop tomorrow, there's always more to keep you warm. Cheers.